Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my personal favorites that I personally love to watch on YouTube and that is a makeup haul. Sorry that I have been nowhere to be found on YouTube. Just like so much life has happened for me in the past four months, literally the middle to end of July, I felt like my life just kind of like exploded and anything and everything that could happen, happened. But I guess that's life's kind of funny way of reminding us, don't make plans. Um, on top of that, I've been really sick, so sorry if I'm like coughing all over the place during this video. I really, really, really wanted to film a makeup haul because I love makeup shopping. Let me show you guys my bag. <laughs> it is out of control, like makeup hoarding to the max don't judge me yes i'm pulling makeup out of my big brown tj maxx bag okay don't judge me. let's just jump right into our video today it's established i have a makeup problem what's also been established is i have a makeup brush problem i don't understand why i keep purchasing makeup brushes because i do not need one single other makeup brush under the sun but do i want it absolutely so i so i just went ahead and i purchased them okay a couple weeks ago ulta had um real technique brushes like all the brushes at ulta i don't want to say like the it cosmetics i don't want to say those brushes but like eco tools real techniques that those sort of um makeup brands all the brushes were five dollars so of course in megan drexel true fashion i lost my shit and went and bought a ton of makeup brushes i did not need okay so the first purchase of brushes that i got were um the real techniques um x what are they the i don't even know expert face brush this bad boy Boop. And I know I'm probably way behind and a ton of people probably are in love with this brush. But I've been really, really anxious to try it. And after all this time, no, I have not purchased the brush. But now I have it, so I'm really, really excited. Um, and also, I want to say, I don't know, I hope I'm not saying this wrong. If I'm saying it wrong and I offend you, if you ever happen to see this video, I'm so sorry. But Makeup by Josh, she is a New Zealand makeup artist amazing instagram fantastic absolutely beautiful youtube channel um she uses this brush so much which i just started watching her channel recently and i am so excited that i have this brush because her foundation always looks absolutely flawless it looks absolutely stunning and i'm like whatever is on your face i want to own it so thank god i bought that brush okay the next one is the real techniques um, expert concealer brush I'm a concealer whore so anything with the word concealer on it I feel like I have to own it so I went ahead and bought that brush even though I don't use a brush for concealer but it looks like a really really great eyeshadow base brush which I still have yet to find one that I absolutely love I usually for my under eyes I usually use my beauty blenders but I mean hey why not give it a shot go back old school and try it with the brush okay so then a couple weeks ago at TJ Maxx I did find the real techniques core collection base brushes which makeup by jaw hopefully I'm saying that right or I don't know how else to say it I'm sorry I don't want to offend you but um this I found for $7.99. $7.99, y'all. Oh, you're going to focus? Yep, $7.99. Over there at the good old TJ Maxx. And it comes with the buffing brush, the detail brush, pointed foundation brush, which I'm really excited because I will show you guys what I plan on using the, um, it's this little guy, what I plan on using that little pointed foundation brush for. And then the contour brush, which is that nice little fluffy brush right there. So I went ahead and I purchased those because obviously I have a brush problem. Okay, moving on to Eco Tools. I have four brushes from them that 
I cannot say or stress enough how much I love Eco Tools. They're super affordable, they're eco friendly, they're incredibly soft, and they do absolutely everything and more that they say that they do. So the first one I ripped out of its packaging because I had to try it like the minute I got home and it was a Wonder Cover Complexion Brush. Now I don't know if like you guys can see it's kind of like half of a kabuki and it's amazing. I love full coverage foundation and this just like literally gives you full coverage in an instant and it's also it looks really really good for contouring and going ahead and like blending that um, contour if you like to contour with creams. I probably wouldn't use this with powder just because I feel like it might create too much of a harsh line on my face, but I do absolutely love that. And I got its little sister, the Wonder Color Finish Brush. This is good with blush and contour makeup. It's like the, oh God, are you gonna focus? No, no. It's like the little version, the little baby, the little sister version of the um, Wonder Cover Complexion Brush and that I probably will use for like nose contour, um, probably more for my contour itself around my forehead as well because this brush right here, it's I just want to like keep it to foundation. Um, the other one was a Skin Perfecting Brush. And I really like this because I'm such a sucker for angle face brushes. I absolutely love Urban Decay's old angled blush brush. That was A1. Like, it was absolutely amazing. I still have it, but I just, I'm a makeup hoarder, so I just don't want to use it. I just want to stare at it. I'm such a creep. Don't. Don't pass judgment on me, okay, guys? Um, then the next brush was the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. Okay. I love powder brushes, but I cannot, like, express enough how much I have not found a powder brush that I absolutely love. There have been some brushes in the past where, yes, I continue to use them and, like, I like them, but they weren't, like... <gasps> Oh my god, I can't live without that powder brush because me in particular, I love MAC Studio Fix powder still and liquid, but I love their powder. So I was using the Eco Tools Flat Kabuki brush, which I absolutely still adore because it just kind of gives me that full coverage, that beautiful full like and flawless coverage. But in some areas, I was like, ooh, girl, you, you're looking a little powdery around your mouth or like a little powdery right here in between my brows and in the middle of my forehead. So I, that's why I went ahead and um, purchased the full powder brush from Eco Tools. So that way it can kind of just like buff out certain areas that I may have caked just a little bit too much of it. So I was watching another one of my favorite YouTubers and she did a... Um, drugstore favorite brush haul if I'm not mistaken and she was talking about some um, really good brushes that she liked for everyday use that you could find at Walmart or Target or Walgreens and in true makeup hoarding fashion I went out the next day and was hunting for these wet and wild brushes now I'm sure that you guys have heard about these wet and wild brushes they've been everywhere on the internet I've seen a ton of people using them they are cruelty free they're gluten free that makes them vegan um, which I really really love so I went out and of course I went on the hunt and I found them and I got the contour brush and the powder brush for face brushes. I found these at my local Walgreens. Now the really, really awesome thing about these is that uh, at Walgreens they were actually on sale for $1.99 each. These are really, really great quality brushes that are super inexpensive that literally are to die for. I mean, they're so cute. They're pink and white. I know that they'll probably get a little bit dirtier just because they are white and I make a mess when I do makeup, but that's okay. Um, they're really, really beautiful. So the one, the other ones, I haven't even got to try them out, but I did take them out of their packaging and I got to feel them and they're super soft. So these are all the other brushes I got. I got the large eyeshadow brush, which is this bad boy right here. 
the small eye oh the small eyeshadow brush the one that she had mentioned that she likes the most is the crease brush which I absolutely love this brush because I'm so picky about my crease brushes I absolutely love max 214 I want to say their crease but I mean just like look at how perfect this is it's so nice and soft it's sort of ridiculous but I do really 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 enjoy that brush um and I'm really really excited to see this I actually might even play with this bad boy in the morphe 3502 palette um I should do like a first impressions if you guys think that's a good idea or if you guys are interested in seeing a video like that just go ahead and drop a comment down below y'all know what to do um but the uh, oh the best thing the best thing about these um eye brushes is that they are only 99 cents like get out of here with your 99 cent amazing soft brushes okay so then i also got the large concealer brush which i'm really really stoked about because again like i said if it has the word concealer in it i feel like i have to own it there's an angled brush which looks so good for winged eyeliner because i do have my personal favorite eyebrow brush so that just looks really good for like a gel wing liner i also got the small concealer brush which i'm really excited to try to put underneath my brow to use to clean up my brow and then this is a smoky liner and i was also considering using that to clean up the brow but i think i'll use it to pack on the highlight in my inner corner diffuse my um bottom lash line so that is my brush hoarding at the moment um another thing i just purchased i just went ahead and i purchased um just the tam beauty blender i need to replace my beauty blenders and i swear by beauty blenders so i just went ahead and i picked up a new one um i also got the cake and bake which i'm really really excited about i have heard such good things about this um sponge it's from vera mona and it comes in a cute little in a cute little psh, like a little tray and then it's like it's really nice and squishy which I'm really excited about I like really squishy um, sponges I know a lot of people say that uh, beauty blenders or other types of um, sponges tend to soak up a lot of their products but um, I feel like if I'm not like overly pumping or using um, my products like that my beauty blenders and my sponges and whatnot do just fine but I'm really excited to use this because I really want to find a good sponge that I can use to clean up my contour um not to like completely cut the contour but to more so cut the contour towards the back to kind of just give it that most um the other sponge that I got was the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Contour Blender okay so I'm really intrigued by this because you guys see how thick that is like I just I kind of want to open it right now um so let's just do that because I want to see it and feel it I haven't I literally have not I've literally just been purchasing makeup and throwing it in this bag it's so awful oh yeah so okay so I'm totally digging totally digging yeah yeah this is nice I think I would definitely wet this sponge too um just to kind of give it like a little bit more bounce but this is going to be like really good for nose contouring and then probably for like blending that contour and keeping it real sharp cut a bitch you feel me um but no seriously uh it's it seems like a really great sponge so I'm really excited to try that out and kind of let you guys know maybe I'll just kind of do a full face first impressions on all this nonsense that I've purchased I absolutely love setting sprays okay I don't know there's just something about well, you know like spraying a brand new setting spray and just like just feeling like I've been brought back from the dead bitch oh my god I have three other brushes okay so these brushes I've had for a hot minute and I just recently found them they're probably all crazy but I found these at the art store at Hobby Lobby when I went with my mom and I just thought that 
that would be like a really great um, contour bronzing brush and I thought that that would be a great highlighting brush minus the little snickle fritz right there on the corner and I to be honest I don't know why I bought that brush but I really like it um, I got these at Hobby Lobby and these are the Masters Touch Fine Art Studio Oil and Acrylic Brushes. And I want to say the smallest one was $4.99. Um, the second, the middle one was this bad boy that I said would be good for highlights, $5.99. And then the biggest one was $7.99. So um, I may do a first impressions with those two just because I feel like they're definitely affordable and a lot of people might be interested in that. So the first product that I bought was the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I went ahead and I picked up this little bad boy from Sephora. A new Sephora just opened up literally five miles from my house. Like you guys have no idea how awful that is for my wallet and my life. I feel like anytime I get stressed out, I can just jump in my car and skedaddle right to sephora which i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um but back to makeup i picked up that Too faced just peachy matte palette and i absolutely love that palette the colors are super 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 creamy they're beautifully like um i like to call them like i nickname shadows that blend into each other really well neighbor shadows so i feel like the just peachy mattes they're like all neighbor shadows because <clears throat> they're all neighbor shadows because they all blend into each other really really nicely they're perfect for i feel like all the shadows are super super perfect for all year round and um you can create some really beautiful daytime to nighttime looks i'm such a sucker for neutral palettes so as soon as i saw this palette online um when Too Faced had announced that they were going to be extending the peach line i almost had a heart attack because i love the Too Faced peach palette that i literally went on the hunt for that palette for days until i found it I, I'm not kidding you. I think I probably track Sephora shipping days and when they got shipment and I always called until I got my palette. The next item that I picked up was the Anastasia Subculture palette. So I want to talk a little bit about this palette because I know that the internet and YouTube and Instagram were kind of like in this huge uproar about the pigment of the subculture palette and how it just slightly disintegrated well not slightly it completely disintegrated when they were tapping or going to pick up the shadows maybe i heard some people saying that some pigments weren't laying down properly or that they weren't super easy to blend some people were complaining about the excessive fallout from the shadows so one night i love hank and henry so i follow him religiously night owl gang um but he actually had a instagram live video and he was talking about the palette and he was also talking about um how he saw reviews about people saying that pigments were just kind of disintegrating and he said that like with him creating his line he learned a bunch of background about how pigments and eyeshadows are made well he also went on to go explain that you know it's not um how did he say it exactly i want to say that he said that something along the lines of it's not a it's not poor quality it's just that the pigment itself is super fine so you got to be really gentle with it so with that being said i was like you know what visually i was really really attracted to the palette like super 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 attracted to the palette i thought it looked nice it was like right up my alley with the hint of color not too much but it was still like neutral um i really really liked it they were like really pretty jewel tones plus I know it sounds really weird, but, like, I'm such a sucker for packaging. So, like, the whole blue 
um, turquoise deep I don't even know what you would call this deep blue packaging I just like really enjoyed it so I was like you know what let me just buy the palette and be the judge of it for myself and I cannot express to you guys how much I absolutely adore that palette the one single tip that I can give you guys when you're using your subculture palette is instead of swiveling your brush and um, causing all that kick up from the shadow just tap your brush and apply it blend it out and just keep tapping into the shadow and reapplying until you get the color payoff now I will say that majority of the colors that I just tap into and once I touch down on my eyeshadow I go to blend it's like a full color payoff so just make sure that you're using the lightest possible hand when you're dipping into that eyeshadow because you don't want to cause all that um, fallout in the palette for one and for two you don't want to pick up too much eyeshadow and like have you know all this crazy eyeshadow that's not very your that's too pigmented that makes it a little bit more difficult to blend so that's just my personal tip now my other palette that I actually just got in the mail today is the Morphe 3502 uh, the second nature palette and I cannot tell you guys how excited I was for this palette. I'm sure that you guys have seen this palette everywhere. I'm sure that you guys have seen... Sorry, my mom was yelling out there. <laughs> um, I'm sure that you guys have seen this palette everywhere. And everybody's talking about it. Um, I know that I've heard a ton of people say, you know there's that all these palettes are starting to look like and that everything's a warm palette or this that, and the other well personally i don't care i love warm palettes um 3502 i don't know if it's just because i've been doing makeup for what feels like forever but um to me i just felt like the 3502 was definitely a step up from the 350 and the 350m and 350s because there were colors um, that I do do that I do do that I do totally admire that are in the 35O, but I definitely felt like I needed just like a little bit more kick up of an orange color. Um, so that's why I went ahead and purchased that 3502 palette. So I will say that the packaging which I've told you guys before I'm a total sucker for packaging the new um, font across the palette I just I love it I don't know it kind of gives me like this sleek sophisticated feel and I like totally digging it in all of its glory there is a 3502 palette and I cannot tell you guys how much I love this palette so like the the reds and like the oranges but I just want to go ahead and like swatch because I haven't even swatched it yet it literally came in the mail this morning which I was so stoked because I really 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 wanted to um include this in the makeup haul so what I just swatched uh the first color is going to be fire Oh my god and that's just one swatch like you guys see how insanely pigmented that is that is so crazy the next color that I'm gonna go ahead and swatch sorry I didn't mean to flip you guys off <laughs> is gonna be I want to say oh yeah it's heat dude like I cannot look and there's still pigment left over sorry for my nails guys they're getting done tomorrow okay um, but there's so much pigment left on my fingers and I am so excited to use this freaking palette. I definitely want to do a look with this palette. So if you guys are interested in me creating a look, as I get eyeshadow all over my new shirt. Um, if you guys are interested in me creating a look with the 3502 palette from Morphe, go ahead and drop some comments below because I would love to do a holiday look using the 3502 two palette from morphe Nordstrom rack was carrying mac products i don't know if they're discontinued products or what but they were the rev the i 
walked in and I saw the Charge Water Skin Hydrating Mist. And I was like, dude, there's no way that this product is here right now because I feel like, well, at least all my girlfriends that are in the makeup industry, they swear by this product. And I just feel like so many people love it. So if it is being discontinued, that makes me really, really sad. And just to cover my butt, if it is being discontinued, your girl brought two. Um, but they were there for $14.97 compared to the $25. And if you guys don't know what this product looks like, I'll be glad to show you. It's just kind of like the Fix Plus, but it kind of gives you like this radiant, dewy, um, all over finish look, which... Yeah, girl loves to glow. Other one that I'm really, really, really excited about. And I I know everybody talks about it. It's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And regular price is $48. And I've always kind of um, been in like a tug of war with, do I want to spend $48 on a setting spray? Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? And um, I was like, wow, that'd be really great if it came in a travel size, which then I got into the Sephora line and boom, there she was, the little Tatcha Luminous Deuce. And I know it's like not even half the size, if maybe that and um i'm actually just gonna pull it out right now and it was twenty dollars but i just feel like this is so sacred and it's such a good product it's just like a total luxury product um i absolutely love it i bought it because i have been wanting to try it uh, also i probably will only use it on special occasions i know it sounds really funny but like for the days where i want to look super flat for my man or you know, I'm just having a hard day maybe and I just sit down and do my makeup and I just want to go out with my girlfriends and get a drink. Um, I just went ahead and bought it because I feel like sometimes you just got to treat yourself. And on that note, let's get into something else I'm really, really stoked to talk about. So, still kind of in the realm of setting sprays. Um, let me start there actually. So, we'll start with the setting sprays. So, this is the Marc Jacobs. Um, Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And I've seen this numerous times in Sephora. I am such a sucker for Marc Jacobs because I absolutely love his products. I love everything Marc Jacobs. So um, I went ahead and I purchased the um, Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And it's such a beautiful, sleek, um, packaging looking bottle like it just it looks so nice and this is something that I'm really excited about because I have really dry skin and it just it happened out of nowhere I don't know if it was stress or what but I got really really dry skin and I'm still battling it right now but while I was in Sephora um, I just went ahead and I spritzed my skin with it almost as soon as I got in there and walked around with it and I absolutely loved it. It definitely hydrated me. It gave me a glow but it also didn't make me look oily um, which I really really admired. So the other following product um, because my... I don't know if you guys know this, but my favorite part of makeup is skin because you can have a really bomb eyeshadow look, but if your skin doesn't look beautiful and flawless, I feel like it just kind of takes away from your whole makeup look. So I went ahead and I purchased the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Now let me tell you guys why I chose this face primer opposed to all the other face primers. So I was going to get the Too Faced Hangover um, primer, the hydrate, it's hydrating. Uh, the girl at Sephora told me that it had has hyaluronic acid in the Too Faced one, which I really personally like because it helps retain more moisture to the skin. But I also wanted something that was more, um, that actually like smoothed my skin out opposed to just hydrating it because I already knew that I was getting the coconut mist and the Tatcha. I know that at home I already had the Mario Badescu. So I wasn't really too concerned with staying hydrated as much as I was concerned with something that really did prime my skin. So I went ahead and I purchased the Marc Jacobs, um, Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Sorry, I still can't get this whole name down. But what I really, really like about it is that it does come out white, but when you rub it in, 
it literally just kind of like smooths out any texture in the skin and it just kind of creates like this beautiful like opposed to I don't know if you guys can see psh, it just kind of gives like this really beautiful hydrated smooth silky like perfect skin and I just I fell in love they're expensive again they're luxury I want to say this is 39 and sorry this is 39 and this was 44 the face primer was 44 and I was like dude I've never spent that much money on a face primer in my life so let me try it on here because I hate being that person that goes to Sephora and returns anything and I tried it on and I was like I have to have this like this is so ridiculous I had to have it so that's why I went ahead and I bought it and I absolutely do not regret it at all nothing nada not at all um and then I went ahead and then I just repurchased um my Tarte uh, shape tape and I purchased it in I want to say two shades darker this time maybe three but I got light medium this time and I love Tarte Shape Tape. Like, it's probably my most favorite concealer to date. Um, but I felt like the color that I had was just a little bit too light for me. Uh, and then yesterday, when I went on my little wet and wild shopping um, hunt, or should I say shopping spree, um, I also came across their uh, Photo Finish or sorry photo focus concealer corrector and I'm really excited to try this one out I haven't tried it it does um when I did swatch it it is like just it comes out pretty light and I feel like it's a gel formula it's like a gel bouncy formula which I'm gonna be using this concealer in particular as a highlight so I'm not really concerned with if if it covers my dark circles or not I'm more concerned if it's gonna add light to under my eyes um, but it is like a gel like formula this is it this is in the color light uh medium beige um sorry you guys I keep flipping you guys off that's so rude um but this is the concealer itself I really like it um it does dry a little bit darker so I'm gonna leave that there so I can show you guys just about how much darker it does dry um but it seems like a really really good concealer which I'm just gonna be using for highlighting and to possibly clean up under the brows okay so where else um I do have another concealer, and this is the True Match um, in the color Fair Light. Again, I was just interested in this concealer because I saw somebody else using it on um, Instagram on one of their stories and also on her page, and I thought that this might be a really good concealer to just go ahead and clean up under my brows with or even just kind of clean up my wing because this applicator this one in particular you guys just see how that's just like let me put this down really fast see how that's like a brush i i just feel like it would like create like the most crisp line with my eyeliner if i do decide to do a wing liner lately i've been in the mood to do a wing liner but usually i don't like to fidget that much with my eyeliner and then um the Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut, and this product is actually from um, Walmart. They're $6.98 now. They may be cheaper in some areas. I have seen them like in San Jose area for 5 bucks. but this is in the Coconut Lime, and this is such a good product to exfoliate your skin. Um, probably, you probably want to do this the day before um, you do any self tanning products or if you happen to get waxes like a brazilian wax your underarms or your legs or even like your arm area this is just like such a good product it's super grainy i do keep mine out of the shower because i feel like water always gets in and kind of like um dilutes the product and i don't get that good of an exfoliant when i leave it in the shower so i do recommend leaving it out of the shower but oh my god it smells like summertime. This is a coconut and lime. I love this one, so I always go back to this. One. Okay, so something else that's like a hidden gem is the Milani Prep and Set Glow, the Illuminating Translucent Powder. 
or transparent. So no, this powder is not white. Yes, you can find it at Walmart. You can find it at, I've also seen it at CVS, and I've also seen it at Walgreens. It's a really great product for setting your concealer under your eye and adding that glowiness, that dewiness to the highlighted area without it looking like crazy with highlighter. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend that product. I want to say I paid like $7.98 or $8.98 for it. But this powder I absolutely swear by. All my clients know how much I love it. All my clients love it. Uh, my girlfriends, my cousin that I've shown, everybody loves it. So if there is one product out of this whole makeup haul that I could recommend to you guys to buy, it would definitely be the Milani um, number two prep set and glow powder however the next product that i bought was a liquid glow from anastasia and this was in the peach fizz shade um i am absolutely obsessed with this i think i've tried it like once it's so insane <laughs> like the pigment behind it is absolutely incredible um it is vegan which i also love about it um but check this out so this is it right here like how ridiculous is that that is so absolutely insane like i cannot even deal with how beautiful that is so i'm definitely going to be trying um that bad boy underneath my foundation and i'm going to go ahead and pop it on top um another day that i beat my face down and then i will definitely let you guys know how well another product that i repurchased was the sephora uh 10 hour foundation perfection foundation now this bad boy does tend to oxidize a little bit i bought uh medium 31 in almond and i really 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 love this foundation you guys know how much i love cake so i kind of like to mix that with i don't know like i'll mix it with all nighter um right now my go-to foundation for every day whether it's day or night is a milani two-in-one and i would definitely probably mix a little bit of this in there with it because i feel like this is very close to the urban k naked skin another thing that i purchased was actually yesterday um at ulta it's the hd soft focus liquid foundation in deep warm and the reason that i bought this is again because that um youtuber that i absolutely admire makeup a jaw she uses inglots um hd foundation to contour and this is the color that i got deep warm and um she uses it to contour it and it just kind of gives her this beautiful subtle tan look okay so the next thing that I purchased was the Vegas Nay um, Luxe, Luxe Collection, the Bronze Beauty. And I absolutely love these eyelashes. I'm probably so late to the game, but don't I don't care because I love eyelashes. And then I also bought, sorry, I keep touching my hair, guys. Like, it's just, I've never, my real hair hasn't been this long in so long that, like, it's driving me crazy because I feel like I'm just getting super, like, hot and it's all over the place. Like, literally, I find hair everywhere, but that's besides the point. So I also bought the Ardell uh, Faux Mink lashes, and these look really good just for, like, a really natural, subtle look. So I'm really, really excited about those. All right on the lips and lipsticks like seriously it's just like it's a it's a problem like it's a problem okay so first things first i just bought my first late to the game dose of color lipsticks and these are the two that i got i got super natural i believe yeah super natural and sand and I actually mix the two, and that's what I have on my lips right now. Um, I'll go ahead, and I'm going to swatch them really fast. Just in case anybody hasn't purchased Dose of Colors, and they've been up in the air about it, I really am a sucker for nude lipsticks, big time. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my goodness. So, the first one is going to be Sand. And then... Um, the second color I'll swatch is going to be super natural. So that's sand right now. 
and I will say on my lips it happens to go on a little bit lighter which I don't mind and then the other color that I got was Supernatural and this actually comes out a lot more peachy than I expected but I don't mind it because when I mix it with sand it's almost like a perfect nude for me and I paired it with stripped down lip liner so that's kind of like my go-to combo right now and um that right there is super natural and this is sand so sand does have like a hint of pink in it which i like too because anything that's too cool tone it just tends to wash me out really bad and i feel like i just i wear a lot of like bronzer and highlighter so if i go too nude it looks kind of like strippery i mean like i love I, I call it stripper lips. Like, I love stripper lips, but sometimes I just feel like stopping out of pocket dry and wearing this, like, crazy-ass nude lipstick. Like, get your life right. Okay, the other lipstick I bought is the Rainforest of the Sea collection from Tarte. I've had my eye on these for a hot, quick little skibbity-doo minute, but I never really committed to um, purchasing it until recently, and I got it in the color Skinny Dip. I really like this color dude it kind of is like a creamier version of sand and a little bit more nude and a little bit more uh, I would say hydrating but I'm I dig it the other color that I recently purchased was starfish the Ulta limited edition from Anastasia the liquid lips um, I don't care what nobody says I will always support Anastasia liquid lipsticks they were like the first row of liquid lipsticks that I felt did justice and they did everything um that they were supposed to do they lasted long yeah they were a little bit drying but I mean like isn't that for any liquid lips just saying but anyways it says right there exclusive just the Ulta again this is the color starfish how cute look it comes in like a little box and um this I think is just for a holiday but I I love it I mean like Mm, look at that it's like pure hollywood and naked I had a baby and that was starfish it's a little bit darker than normal but i totally totally dig it it's so cute and i feel like i could almost mix it with like a mauve lip liner and it would give me like a really pretty holiday uh brown nudie lip and then the other liquid lipstick that i purchased that i have for so long been holding out on purchasing for no particular reason just I felt like the colors that I did like were always sold out and then um when they finally had the colors in stock that I like I was just like mm, I'd rather get some other things before I purchase another liquid lipstick um I will have to one day show you guys my lipstick drawer it's legitimately out of control but I purchased the Huda Beauty color in Venus which again I'm probably super late to the game but I don't care I absolutely love this color I think it's absolutely phenomenal um I did try it in try it in I did try it on in store the only thing that I've noticed is that they tend to separate and I didn't really I didn't really like it and I just noticed I don't know if it's because it's separated or what but there's like a there's a smell to it it's just kind of like refreshing but that's a color I don't know if you guys can see it kind of like separated up at top but all in all it's a really really great color and the lip liner that I actually bought to go with it was from Kat Von D the Lolita 2 lip liner um typically I don't ever purchase anything that's this light but I just I absolutely loved it with the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick and psh, this are, are you gonna Dude, you guys, okay, hold on, it's not focusing. Anyways, you guys get the idea. This is the actual lip liner itself. Now, these lip liners, I did try it on in store, and I cannot tell you guys enough, like, how ridiculously hardcore these lip liners are. I love them. I actually want to go back and get a few other ones. I'm a lip liner fanatic like fanatic i love lip liners but i'm also very picky on the colors and like what colors they change on my lips so that's actually um the lip liner i got to go with venus and it once i get the combo actually on my lips one day i'm gonna have to just like maybe i'll do a haul on my favorite lip colors not a haul but like what are my top 10 favorite lip colors of all time or what are my favorite 
um, holiday colors. Maybe something along those lines. That would be a fun video to do. But I also bought the um, gel lip liner from Wet n Wild yesterday. Uh, it's called Bear to Comment. And this is it. They were on sale for $1.99, their gel. Um, but now that I come to think of it, oh no, it is a little bit lighter. But it's still pretty cute. Um, this is the lip liner from Wet n Wild. So once I give that a go too. Um, I'm not really sure how long lasting the Wet n Wild ones are. I know that they're probably not comparable to the Kat Von D ones. Because those are legitimately waterproof. Like those are 100% a go for me and I absolutely love like they don't even come off that easy I'm trying to take it off right now um and then the other thing that was recommended to me by my cousin for liquid lips since we do love and prefer to wear liquid lipsticks when we're going out was the nude lip primer from NYX and god I don't even know if you guys can see but I have yet to try this my cousin sent me pictures of herself with her dude at a concert and my cousin's like dude I've had like four drinks or three drinks and my her lip color looked absolutely amazing like no chips no like you guys can see I always get that weird little dry line um she didn't have any of that and she swears by it so I'm really really excited to give that a go um so some other two items, two items that are left um, that are kind of random. So I bought the Swispers Premium Products, the Instant Brush Cleaner, which I feel is a complete drugstore dupe for, God, I think it was like $2 or $3 from Walmart. It's a dupe for the uh, Vera Mona Color Swatch. And I, like, I just held off from buying the Vera Mona Color Swatch for so long because... One, I didn't think that I'd really use it. Two, I felt like it was slightly overpriced. And three, when I took a really good look at it, I was like, dude, that's the same black sponges that I use for special effects makeup. And I just was like, there's no way I'm going to pay $20, $30 for that sponge when I could just cut it up and put it in a tin can and call it a day. But now, because it's like $2 at Walmart, I was like, all right, I'll settle for that. So this is what the product looks like itself. And it comes in this little cute tin can. It's a square. It's probably no bigger than the size of my hand. And then this is it. And then you can just go ahead and clean your brushes. Let's actually... I got one of these. So you just kind of like... And then clean... Oh yeah, it does pick stuff up. So... And then the instructions on the back was slide eyeshadow brush against the sponge to remove color. Oops, I did foundation. Um, the instant brush cleaner sponge can be used on either side for best results. Wash after heavy use. Use mild soap to wash. Lay flat to dry for best results. Replace every two months depending on use. So I guess it is something that you're going to want to replace. But they are available at Walmart for like $2, $3, $3 at the most I think. Um, but they're pretty cheap so keep an eye out. I found them also with like, um, like face masks and stuff and like facial sponges kind of like in the face cleansing area so that's where I happen to come across that. Um, what the very last thing that I did purchase was the five inch glass plate for candles. Now I know this seems like super super random but actually let me grab it. I'm gonna go grab it. So that way you guys can see. So this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like beforehand. And the reason I did purchase it is because I'm going to be using it as like a makeup palette. Now I know I like scoop some stuff and then uh, with my palette knife and then I tried to like lay it down. But because of this little groove right here, it was a little bit harder for me to like get all the product completely off my palette knife but I mean like all in all opposed to just having like crazy amounts of makeup on the back of my hand that eventually end up on my clothes or you know on my bed or you know over homework or something just like completely random I just went ahead and I bought these they were like a dollar or dollar twenty five at Walmart and I just think they're going to be really good to have on my vanity so that way I can use them as palette. So I know that was a long and tedious makeup haul. So if you guys haven't hit your subscribe button, I hope that you guys definitely do subscribe before exiting this video. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking it out with me and listening to me ramble on about all this crazy makeup. 
that I've purchased recently. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I definitely will be responding to you guys. I will do my absolute best to list damn near every product that I talked about in the description box. You guys can also find my Instagram and my Twitter link down below as well. Again, thank you for sticking with me through this makeup haul, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.